everyone, this is Miss Mansfield. You know me as your art teacher, and I'm going to be doing some very simple art lessons for you guys to do at home. These are not required. These are just for fun and for at-home learning purposes. Um, today, we're going to be doing a guided drawing, which means that I'm going to draw, and then you can draw along with me, or you can pause it and draw at your own pace. Um, also, there's going to be lots of opportunities for you to personalize and make the drawing your own. And I'd love to see your drawings, so please make sure that you share them with me. Okay, so today, drawing with me, I have Aiden, who's going to be <laughs> my student drawer. So I'm going to draw, and Aiden's going to draw with you to show you kind of how it's done. Okay, so all you need to do your guided drawing is any kind of paper, and my paper is just a basic drawing paper, and it doesn't have the lines on it, but if you just have notebook paper, you can totally draw on notebook paper, no big deal. Um, I like Sharpies, but if you just have a black marker, like a Crayola or whatever, any kind of black marker is fine, and then I also have a box of 24 crayons that I just filled out. So any kind of crayons are fine too. Um, all right, you ready Aiden? I'm ready. Okay, so since we're stuck at home for spring break and we can't go to the beach, we're gonna draw a beach to kind of get us ready. And then I'm also gonna show you how to color in a sunset, the colors of a sunset. So if you were in my Centertown class, some of you, not all of you, some of you already had this lesson, so you'll kind of be really good at it. All right, you ready Aiden? Sure. Okay, all right, so you're gonna go top and about the middle, and you're gonna come down. When I tell the kids, usually about the width of their hand. So you're gonna come down a couple inches, three, four inches, like about right there is where we're gonna start. All right, you ready? All right, and we're gonna make a long curved line down. And you wanna make sure that you leave this white space between the line and your paper. Good. And then you're gonna do it again, skinny at the top, wide at the bottom. Very good. Have you figured out what we're drawing already yet? What this has to do with the beach? Yes, we're drawing a palm tree first. All right, so you wanna connect that with a slightly curved line. Very good. Oh, here's our cat. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. So we have our tree and we drew our tree first because it's gonna be in the foreground and we didn't want to have to have that black line of our background going through the tree, if that makes sense. So that's called overlapping and overlapping gives you a sense of depth. So we're gonna draw our first little sand dune. So you're just gonna draw your line in the back and then kind of like estimate where that would be on the other side of the tree and bring it on down. Very good. Now you're going to cross it so you have your second sand in. Good. So you have like your basic framework of your picture now with the tree and the sand. So um, we're gonna put some more details on our tree and to do that, we're gonna start with our tree leaves. So we're gonna make this curve line coming down very good. I think you've had art class before. Look at you. <laughs> and you're going to bring it on around. And to me, it looks kind of like a banana. You made a banana shape. There you go. And we're going to do that again. One curved line. And then bring it around there. And some of them are going to be skinny. Some of them are going to be fat. Some of them, like my paper moved and I have that little bump in there. It doesn't matter because leaves in real life are like that too. So now we're gonna go the other way and have one over here, one on the bottom, one on the top. And then it's kind of up to you if you want another one, if you want that fourth one, you can put one in there. And like for my lines don't touch right there, I'm gonna leave it, I like that. If you wanna connect them, you can connect them. If you want to put in a leaf that you can't see all of, you can kind of tuck one back in there, but like that's kind of up to you how many leaves you want on your tree. All right, so I have five, he has four, and that's totally fine. Some of you like to put these little lines in there that kind of show where the veins of your leaves are. Some do, some don't. 
up to you. And our tree just needs coconuts. So you can't see the whole coconut. You just kind of tuck this little C shape just kind of up under there and show like the hint of the coconut poking out underneath the leaves. And if you want more than two, you can put two or three or four or whatever. You can have a bunch. All right, and then you add these little curved lines to your tree trunk because the bark on the palm tree kind of looks like that. And you can mix it up like two here, three there, one. It doesn't have to all be the same. That's how your palm tree looks. Really nice. Good job, Aiden. I love it. You're so good. All right. We're going to put some water in the background. All right. And water is very, very easy. We're going to just do a very simple water like the lowercase w's. If you can make it a lowercase w, then you can make the water in the background. And just like we did with the heel, you're going to kind of estimate where that would be on the background. And it's hard to make it perfectly straight. Don't worry about it because it's water. It may not have to be perfectly straight. And then sometimes people like to put like a few of these like kind of here and there to kind of make it look a little more watery in the distance. If you like to do that, you can, you don't have to. All right. So on, in our sand, we're going to add an umbrella and our umbrella is going to go off the page and that is okay. I'm going to start with my umbrella, what's it called, a handle, a stick, I don't know. So we're just going to draw a diagonal line right there because our umbrella is sticking in the sand and we didn't have to worry about going through anything because it's solid. And just like we did the lowercase u's, w's, we're gonna do those upside down this time. And I make them a little bit further apart than I did with my water. So kind of like bigger. And I just did four. If you do more than four, it doesn't matter how many you do. There you go. And then a big one and my umbrella didn't go off my paper this time sometimes it does go off and that's okay and then i'm going to connect where those little points are and stop. very good all right beach towel beach towel is laying under the umbrella one two my purple crayons rolling away and connect and i like to put a little fringe on my beach towel if you want it if you don't you don't have to and then our umbrella was striped so if you want to make your towel striped too you can or if you want to put some other kind of different kind of pattern on your towel i like to do polka dots on my towel and i just draw the circles as best i can they don't have to be perfect if you have something you like to trace to make circles and make perfect circles, you totally can. All right, so we have this space right here in our sand and I'm gonna draw a few things to kind of give you options. So you don't have to draw all of them. We're gonna start with the crab and I'm gonna turn my paper sideways a little bit um, just to make my drawing angle a little bit more comfortable. All right, so to do the crab, you're going to do an oval. And really, I guess you could put these anywhere you want to, but I kind of like that open space. And it's going to look kind of spottery at first. You're making kind of those V's, kind of upside down V's. And it looks kind of spottery, but we're going to make it look like a crab in a minute. Okay, so this is going to be a claw and a claw coming out the top. Good. And to make the claw, it's just kind of like a rainbow shape rainbow shape, rainbow shape, rainbow shape. Very good. And uh, crabs have these little beady eyes that go right there. And so that makes your spotter look a little more crabby. Very good. I like the way you left your eyes open, had the little white space in the middle. Okay, so a shell, let's do a shell. And to do the shell, 
you're just going to curve it around and then connect it back and you have a shell. So let's see, what else can we add? Sand bucket? That's the other one. Okay. So sand bucket, two lines, and I like to kind of angle mine towards each other a little bit and across. And if you want your bucket sitting on top of the sand, you're just gonna draw a straight line across the bottom. If you want your bucket kind of sitting in the sand, you're gonna make a kind of a imperfect wobbly line that kind of goes across um, on both sides of your bucket to make it sit more kind of in the sand. And then your handle is just a U around the top. And let's do a shovel, a little stick. A square, a bigger square, and I like to put a little line in there just to kind of show that it has a little depth in the shovel. All right, so last thing is the sun in the sunset, and I like to put um, the sun behind the palm tree a little bit for overlapping. If you don't want to put the, the sun behind the palm tree, you can put it over here. I'm going to move mine off to the center a little bit behind the palm tree. Okay, so it's just a half circle shape. So I'm going to come up to where the tree is and kind of estimate on the other side and down and around. And then if you want birds in your sky, a lot of people make the birds kind of like this. And I'm going to use a different shape since we've kind of used this shape twice already. What I like to do is do like a V and then just kind of cap it off with two little lines. And as the birds get further away, they get smaller. That's perspective. So I have this little line of birds and they're getting smaller at the further away they go. All right. So we're done with the drawing part. Looks good. We're gonna do the sunsets. All right, so sunsets are five basic colors, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue. Those are the colors. So you start with yellow closest to the sun. So I'm gonna go with this yellow. You got the other yellow. And you're only gonna color in an up and down way. Don't try to go side to side. And that gets a little bit challenging in other places, but you want it to be uniform. And you're only going to come up about an inch with the yellow. However, if you really like yellow and you want a lot of yellow, then you have a lot of yellow. It doesn't matter. Because depending on where the sunset is and what point you're looking at the sunset, the colors are going to be different. So you come all the way across and try to color up about the same all the way across. Okay, so I did the yellow. And so the next color is orange and you have a light yellow, so you need to make sure that you get a light orange. Go with that one and I'll take the dark one. Okay, orange is not my favorite color, so I'm only gonna use a little tiny strip of orange. Um, but if you really like orange and want a lot, then use a lot but you want it to overlap the yellow just a little bit. Not all the way down, but you want it to make sure that you blend it in really lightly and you color darker up here with more pressure and very little pressure down here. And then you come on the other side and you do the same thing. And if your picture is laid out a little different than mine, no big deal. Just work on getting those strips of color the same size all the way across. I'm going to go under my umbrella and then the other side. And then make sure that you overlap your yellow. I'm going to go back and do that a little bit better. All right, so the next one is red and, okay, so red. So I, you want to use, you can use a red, violet red or you can use that dark orange since you used that red or you can mix it a little bit with this red too. So I'm gonna do the next step and I'm only gonna use a little tiny bit of red 
just to kind of carry it on because I like using the red violet. I like the pink in my sunset and not everybody wants pink in their sunset. So I just use a tiny bit of red kind of as a transition color. There's that. And I go to the red violet. And if you don't want to use the red violet, if you want all red, then go for it. This would be a good time for calling to play with you, Kalele. It would be. Yeah. So the next color is purple, and it, you may be using a violet or a blue violet. All that is fine. Those are all shades of purple, and that's kind of why I like to put that red violet in between my red and my purple, just kind of as a transition color. So I'm going to come up a little bit bigger with my purple because I'm kind of seeing like how much space I have left at the top, and the only color I have left is blue. So I want to make sure that I have room for that blue, but not, you know, too much. And this time I can go all the way up under my palm tree. And notice that we're only coloring up and down as much as possible, not side to side. That just helps your sky look a little bit smoother and well blended. finish out the rest of your picture in blue but I'm going to leave I'm going to color a little bit lighter up here at the top and I'm going to fill it in just a tiny little bit at the top with a turquoise or an aqua blue but just a little bit so I'm going to finish off the rest of my picture with a blue and I'm using quite a bit of pressure with this blue pushing it down pretty hard going over the purple with it until I get to the top and at the very top I'm going to color just a little bit lighter because I know I'm going to go back over with that turquoise. And if you don't like turquoise or aqua and don't want to do that part, then you just finish out the blue. And make sure you go between all of your leaves. And overlap over the purple. And you can just color right over the birds. down to finish. So on the video, you can like speed this part up, right? Yeah, I should be able to. Like if you wanted to. Okay, so the turquoise is the last part. You used all the turquoise, which I love. It's good. No, it's good. You can put some blue at the top if you want to. And I'm going to finish off with a little tiny bit of turquoise at the top. Okay. So those are the colors of your of the sunset: red, orange, red, yellow, orange, red, purple, and blue. And I added a little bit of red violet and a little bit of turquoise at the top. 
All right, so we'll show you the finished pictures. Okay, thank you for joining me and Aiden today for drawing your spring break beaches. And I will be back three times a week, um, every week until we get back to normal. So with different art lessons and art skills each time. So make sure that you check back here. Thanks and bye.